I'm Nick from Australia, and today I want to show you guys how to make beer. So, as some of you know, beer's got three key ingredients, and you want to use the highest quality ingredients. You need the hops, you need the yeast, and the water. Today I'm planning on using a few substitutes though. So instead of the water, I'm going to be using clear quick links. Don't worry, they work just as well. Um, for the yeast, it'll help make it really nice and frothy on top. So I thought a perfect one for this one is going to be white quick links, of course. And finally, for the hops, I was planning on using gold quick links. Now you can use other colours as well, depending on the beer that you're wanting to achieve. Uh, goldenrod works nicely as well. If you want a nice dark beer, then mocha quick links as well. But I'm going to go with gold today. I'll show you how it's done. So, for this design, we're going to be making chains out of the quick links. So, I've started with some 12 inch quick links. Now, these are inflated to about 9 or 10 inches. By under inflating a bit, it means that they just sit nicer and gives them a bit more durability in case you want to take your beer outside, which we do love having a drink outside. So, we're going to be making chains of eight balloons. These are going to be turned into a ring as such. Now, you want to make sure that you're tying your quick links really nice and tight. Because if you get them nice and tight, the structure will be, have a lot more integrity to it, making the entire thing a lot more durable when you're trying to put it somewhere. So we're going to have six rings of these larger quick links. Oh, the 12 inch, I'm going to plate it. As well as the same, made out of one ring of clear quick links and one ring of white quick links. These are going to be forming the rings or levels as we go up and down the beer. You'll also want one length of six clear quick links as well as two quads of clear and two quads of white. These are going to be at the ends, either top and bottom, and these ones just get linked in together to make a quad of quick links. We're going to use them in a moment. To join these together, we're going to be using chains of 6 inch quick links inflated to about 5 inches. I've started with clear, going down 5 gold, and finally 1 white. Now we're going to need 8 chains of these to go in between all of the links of the larger ones. The easiest way for this is a duplet of these two, a duplet of these two, and then a triplet in between. It's a lot easier to keep track of what's what then, and having them all together. Putting together is super easy. So from the bottom, we've got our chains here. So you've got the two options here. You can attach a small five inch at the end and simply wrap this in. I prefer to just tie it in because it just makes the whole thing just as quick. For tying these in, once again, you want to make sure these are nice and tight. So I'm just going to be wrapping that right around and tying it in with one of the other nozzles. We want to attach all eight of those. At this point, you'll want to take a moment to appreciate that if you wiggle it around, it looks just like a jellyfish or octopus. This is a very important step. So, from here on in, we're just going to be taking one of our layers for the next, so that we can put some beer on top of the glass. We're going to be getting the next level here, and simply wrapping it around. If you wrap that around once, and you've tied it nice and tightly, that should sit really nice and snugly. The next, we're just going to put the ends on our beautiful cylinder that we've made. So, we've got our quad of quick links, and all we're going to do is tie that in to every second joint. Bring that one in just here. And we're just going to fill that space enough so that you can't see it as easily. Now we've got our completed cylinder. And we've finished off the end there so it's got a nice base to stand on. This is also an ideal attachment point. If you want a freestanding, you can just chuck a knot lamp straight through or your other base of choice. Top, we also have this nice little finished X. The last thing, because this is a stone, not a pint, 
is we're just going to need a handle for it. This is where we get our chain of six, and we're just going to tie this one in once again. Some people do like to have quads in between. I find it kind of nice when it is just flowing freely. This one, we're just going to find the top of the clears here and tie that one in. Then we're going to find where it sits nicely at the top of the glass, generally just at the head, staying in that same line, and we'll tie this one in. The last thing we want to do is just give this sphere a really nice foamy head so that it has exactly the right look we're going for. And the easiest way with that is some nice circular round 11 inch in an organic cloud style. So there's a few videos around there that you might be able to find that. But as long as they're nice and um, spherical, it gives a really nice bubbly look. And the easiest one here I find is we have loose tails to tie into. So I'll just tie that one straight in there. We've got the start of a nice head developing. Now, I've got a nice frothy head. The last little thing you want to do with this design, just to clean it up really nicely, is just go along and trim off some of those nozzles. This can also be done in a different way with uh, using some 5 inch, whether you're using two small ones in each of the joints, or a single one that's split twisted, just to cover those leaving it nice and cleanly finished. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers! <laughs>